He soon returned to saint as an officer in the French forces that were opposed to saint too. He did not understand that the few drops of black blood in his veins made him as vulnerable to the French rule as the black slaves. When they started to win the slavery, it was clear that it meant to return them to the status of second class. He would not have that. He turned against his own French army and joined the black, and he too became part of the roots that caused the true, the tree of liberty to grow back in the And now, you see these wonderful channels all dressed up in their costumes. Don't they look great? Isn't that awesome? But there were those people who didn't have any uniforms, who were not soldiers. They were the ones who worked the land. They were the ones who started the revolution by running away. They were what we call men. Can you say Nek Mao? The runaway slaves. Everybody put your hands together and welcome Nek Mao! Although I did not have a man in uniform, I started the revolution. Refusing to act and accept my lot as a slave, I took my family and ran to the hills and the mountains where we hid on the day to exact vengeance on the plantation owners. We burned, killed, but not until two centuries of Monsieur organized us and the revolted slaves into a victorious military machine. General Toussaint, I salute you. And now we're going to have a very brave man. How many brave people do we have here? Let me see your hands. How many brave people do we have here? How many brave souls do we have here? Are you brave enough to become successful in life? Yeah. Are you brave enough to become successful in life? Yeah. All right. Are you brave enough to pass those math tests? Yeah. Very good. Are you brave enough? Thank <laughs> you. 